Hello mentors, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how to create AI calculator app and voice calculator app using MID App Inventor. So that's the second part of this video. Okay. So in the first part, we have learned how to create this app using only multiplication. We have done in only multiplication here. Okay. So let me show you the demo of this app after completing all uh, arithmetic operation. Okay. So here you can see. Welcome to our AI calculator app. Please press speak button to ask questions. So we can see that's the demo. So let's start. Let's click on that speak button to ask questions. 30 plus 20. 50. 50 minus 30. Minus 15. 30 minus 15. 15. 60 multiplied by 30. 1800 100 divided by 50 2 right so that's the overall app you can cal calculate anything here right so let's see we have to just modify something we have to add three more things here okay so let me show you how you can do that so first you you have to watch that video okay i will give you the link in the description okay so uh, in that video we have we have completed first part now that's the second part so Till now we have completed that code. We have initialized the three variables here. Okay, created empty list and here we have uh, created a list of two uh, values. And then we have initialized the screen to just use text to a speech. Okay, on that one button click, we have get the text from the user. We have used here one extension. And then here after getting the text, we are fetching the value of uh, like uh, what, what the user say like 20 into 30. Uh, and you can say 20 multiply by 30 so we have removed the multiply that word and just get two numbers you can see that method get num so we are getting only number from here you can see is number then get that value otherwise we will not get that value so after getting both value we are multiply here two values and get a result to as a text to speech now we have to use here plus minus and division also so how we can do that so we will create simple here one uh, we, we can create here simply one variable okay so in this slice variable and you can say the sign okay and in that sign we will use here simple empty empty uh, text here empty here now now here you can see what we have uh, what we are doing here we are getting only numbers we are not getting the words or and sign okay but in that case we are we will get the sign also if that is not a number in our uh, in our uh, sentence then this should be uh, as a sign okay like suppose 20 multiply by 30 it means here we have two numbers but one thing is sign or you can say that word so if is not a number then it means else okay then we will set that sign it means set global sign to as a word get word right now we have stored that sign plus minus multiplication and division here and that uh, in that global variable now we have to check the variable now in that condition here you can see if length of the list is equal to 2 if someone suppose say 20 30 40 simple it means that global number is 3 it means we will we will not do anything here but if the number is suppose 30 plus 20 it means two numbers then we will uh, do operations here okay so in that condition we have to use one more else if to check we have uh, use here the condition oh sorry sorry we have to use one more if else condition to check the whether the sign is uh, plus minus multiplication or division so click on the control if else here okay so how we can do that so simply just drag and drop it here in that case and here we have to check just copy paste this thing from here and delete this and delete that now here we have to check if you can see the global variable sign get global sign if the sign is if the sign is equal to uh, you can see x uh, and this this is like a multiply okay sometimes this will take as a minus uh, a small x okay so you can use more conditional here if 
else and you can use both here but i will use here only one and i think most of the cases uh, it's take in the capital if the global sign is uh, multiply it means like that then we will multiply values but in that condition else if else if if the sign is suppose sign is multiply uh, suppose plus then we will just simply call it here that one and we have to use your maths and you can see the plus this one call it here and drag and drop that value here and drag and drop second value here simply and we have to use again text to speech like this right and again we have to do again and again this things right if the value is suppose else if and the value is again one more else if in that one condition again maths and you will find the minus okay for the okay wait a second we have to check right so for that we have to use this condition if yeah, and one more time this one if the sign is minus then we will do uh, subtraction and if the sign is divide like this then if the condition is click on maths and you'll find minus this one okay and just copy paste this thing from here okay and drag and drop it here you have to do like this so you can see drag and drop it from here and drag and drop it from here like this and again we have to do again because the value will be uh, we are getting the same right one and two and then again 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 this thing yeah divide it means this one so just copy paste this thing again like divide and take it here make it here and make it here like this right so whenever someone asks let me just show you how it's uh, the flow of that uh, code so whenever the screen will open this will say welcome to our ai calculator app please press uh, space, uh, speak button to ask question right you can change that text here now after you click on that button one it means button one is the speak button like go to the design you will find this one is speak button oh sorry uh, i have to i forgot to show you design okay that's the design right so whenever you click on that speak button right so go to the block this will uh, ask the question as uh, speech recognizer get text whenever that get text then i suppose say like suppose i say like uh, 30 multiply by 36 so multiply means uh, into right so this will get the sign this will go here so this will check that create empty list of numbers okay and then this will uh, use your for each loop to get a number from that sentence okay and this will store the sign in that global sign because if there is nothing in number you can see is number if not number then we will get as a sign and we will check your sign right here and then do operation according that sign simple right so it's too simple so if you have some doubt you can ask me on comment and thank you so much for watching this video Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.